Hello, welcome. My name is Tracy. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator here in Australia. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today is week five of Case the Catalogue, where every Tuesday morning I bring you a video tutorial where I choose a card or a project that is straight out of the Stamping Up annual catalogue. Today's card is coming from um, a bundle called Varied Vases. It is a million dollar achiever that's been inspired by Mary Fish. So she's inspired that set. It's also a bundle, so it comes with a punch if you buy the two together. And if you do buy them as a bundle, you're gonna save 10%, which is a great saving. So I'm gonna bring in the card first. It's a quite a simple card, but really effective. And I'm all for using my DSP this year, so I'm trying to pick a lot of cards that have got DSP in it. So this is the card, it is on page 45. So it's just down here. How about we get started? So the Varied Vases is a photopolymer set. It has 34 images. And I just wanted to show you the punch that you can buy with the bundle. So you buy the two together and you save yourself 10%. We're using the Garden Impressions Designer Series paper. I've used this before and I have shown you in previous videos. Um, it's gorgeous paper. We're also using Black Baker's Twine. And these edges are all corner rounded. And for that, I've used my envelope punch board. It has a corner rounder at the top here. Stamping Up have just brought in a corner rounder punch. Um, I don't own that. Um, so I'm just using the envelope punch board for that. The card kit is quite minimal again today. I'll just get rid of these. We have Coastal Gabbana card base. That's already folded and scored. We have a piece of Whisper White cardstock, a piece of Designer Series paper, and then another piece of Whisper White. Now, in the description of this video, you'll see a link to my blog where you can find all the measurements and supplies are listed over there. There is also a link to my online store where you can purchase all your Stamping Up supplies. There is a hostess code as well for each month. So if you are going to purchase uh, your Stamping Up supplies, please use that hostess code and I can send you out a free gift. The inks that we're using today are Memento Tuxedo Black Ink and the colours are Coastal Cabana, Melon Mumbo and Crushed Curry. So let's get started. We might start stamping with the sentiment first and because these are photopolymer, I'm going to bring in my mat and just a spare bit of paper there as well. For this one, we're going to be stamping the sentiment. So I'm going to bring in the Memento and this stamp just here. Okay, so inking that stamp up in the memento, we're just going to line the top of the stamp up with the edge of the cardstock there. And lining it up so it matches all along. Okay, and then I'm going to turn it over and just do the same thing to the other side. Just like that. And using the Coastal Cabana ink, we're going to stamp the sentiment which is, you are simply the best. Just label that in the middle there. So then we're going to bring in a larger piece of the Whisper White. And I'm going to corner round up the DSP and the piece of Whisper White as well. Whoop. So the bottoms of the DSP are going to be, be punched first. So I'm just going to line that in and punch it. And then on the other side. So that's the bottom of the Designer Series paper. Then we're doing the top of the Designer Series paper. So just placing that in. That didn't do a very good job. Let's try that again. There we go. So that's the top. Now I found it easier to sort of line my areas up first to know where I was stamping. So 
So I just took a, a pencil, just made a really fine mark along the edge of that, just so I knew where I was going to stamp my line of vases. So in the stamp set, there is three types of vases. You get the full vase, you get the outline, and then you get a decorative um, stamp as well. We're just using the two outlines and the full, the inside. So we're going to stamp the coloured vases first. We'll stamp the coloured vases first. So I'm going to start with the Coastal Cabana. And this one here. There we go. Then bringing the Melon Mambo in. Lining that up in the middle. And then the crush curry with that smaller vase there. Easy. Then we're going to bring the memento in. I'm going to stamp the empty vases. Coming up and we're going to do this one here. And then the small one. Overlapping those two. Now this one here is the blue coastal cabana, but it's up the other way. So going to bring that goblety one back in. I'm popping him down. There we go. And we also have this flower here that's stamped. So I have the outline of the flowers. I'm going to line that up just like that. I'm just going to try and get that to dry a little bit before we put our crushed curry coloured flowers in there. So that's the stamp here. Lining those stamps up. Oh, gorgeous. And that's the stamping for this card. So now we're going to put some basic black twine just going to wrap that around and a tie a bow at the front here. Let's turn it the other way. Right, so just like that, I'm just going to tidy up that end, cut off the other side. Paper snips are a bit uh, blunt, I think. There we go. And this is just going to be glued straight down onto the card base. So I'm going to bring some Tombow glue in. that straight down. Now we want to line it up to the right edge. So it's along the right edge. Next we're going to just place some glue on this one. I stuffed this side up so I cut that out and redone it again. Get to see all my, all my mistakes today. So lining that up on the right. 
And then we're going to pop the sentiment up with dimensionals. So like you can see, this is a really, really simple card. But you'd be able to make lots of these really quickly and change them up, different colours, different vases, different flowers in them. There we go. Thanks so much for joining me today. Did you enjoy the cards? Did you also see my two mistakes, or well, my two big mistakes? Luckily, cardstock has two sides, and you can always turn it over and start again. And the other one is, I'm not sure what happened here. This is cut at three and a half, and this is at four, four inches. So in my measurements on my blog, this piece is actually four inches across. We have the right measurements on the blog. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed today's card. If you have, please give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me a comment. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. Till next time. See you later. Bye.